Welcome back. Joining us now is Rose Marie. Marie, welcome to the show. I'm going to call you Rose, though. Is that okay? Yes, perfect. That's perfect. All right, so you are a musician here in the Crossroads area yes, who currently resides in Quero. Yes. Correct. How did you get started with your music career? So uh, my music career, sheesh, I've been singing since I was about um, eight or nine. Uh, my music recording didn't start. Uh, the first time I stepped in the studio, I was actually 14 years old. It was in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, with a producer who now works in Los Angeles, but um, it's been a long time coming. I've, I've recorded quite a few songs in the studio. I'm used to studio work, mm -hmm. and so gigging is a fairly a new uh, venture for me, and I actually love it. So I love being uh, in front of people, sharing energy, sharing smiles. I love to see uh, people perform personally, so uh, I, I'm just learning as I go and treasuring it as I go. I'm so grateful. Oh, that's a great message. And yes. So let's go back to that, you know, sharing energies in the crowd yes. when you go to concerts and music. What kind of message do you want to convey through your music to your fans and Ooh, the audience? Man, um, honesty, um, love, uh, peace, um, pain sometimes. Sometimes we just need to hear that we're not alone in our pains, you know, in our suffering. Uh, so just really, I just want to be an instrument for whatever God wants me to sing, you know, I pray before every every gig and uh, every opportunity I get. So that's that's the main thing. So God. I'd say love. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so when it comes to your songwriting process, how mm. do you approach that? So uh, writing, I used to be really like boom, boom, boom about it, like um, verse, hook, verse, hook. Now, lately, as I've um, grown and evolved, I guess, uh, it's a lot more freestyle. Like, um, it's a lot more... Um, what comes? Fluid, yes. Yeah. I, I just kind of, I find that my best work sometimes comes without restriction, without um, overthinking. And I think that goes for everybody in life. Once you kind of get good at something or, or you realize who you are, you kind of let it flow and that's when like magic happens, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I've figured out, so. And what are some of your musical inspirations? Because we all drive to, mm. or we all get Oof. inspired by somebody. So Sheesh. who inspires you in the music realm? Oh gosh, so I'd have to, I'd ha of course, I know it's cliche, I'm from Corpus, but I have to mention Selena. So oh, wait, we have to, girl, we're Latina. We have I to mention know it, Selena. I know it, and I know everybody, but it's the truth. Like, so when I was like eight or nine when she passed away, her beautiful face was all over the newspaper. Mm. Her beautiful voice was all over the radio. So literally, she is why I started uh, drawing and singing because I, I literally, that was the first drawing I ever did was a, a portrait of Selena on a piece of like notebook paper because mm -hmm. I was a kid. And um, that's when I realized I could kind of draw. And um, and that's when I started singing and I started, uh, I heard her voice on the radio so much and it was so beautiful and I would try to imitate that beauty. And um, that's how I started singing. So it's really, Selena is definitely um, a huge, inspiration and, and artists like her you know with such genuine genuine um, vibes as her Absolutely. really just there's there's tons I could name forever but I will say Selena <laughs> yeah and for us you know I remember seeing Selena as a kid and being yes. oh my god that's, yeah. that's someone that kind of looks like me you know oh my gosh so, she was I mean the, I'm talking about like the Latina yes. representation yes. and so it was yes. definitely a very powerful yes. moment for us big uh, time so Jeez. let's uh, move forward what kind of uh, projects are you working on right now so right now, um, I just released a, an EP. It's a five, I believe, yeah, five track EP. It's entitled Water, and you can find it on iTunes, uh, Apple Music, um, YouTube, all of that. It's entitled Water, five tracks. Uh, that was just released in January. So now I am working on some new originals. So new originals with my guitar. Um, I'm, I'm open to beats as well, like instrumentals, you know. That's what most of my songs, if you look, um, online, there, most of them are with instrumentals, like from the studio, you know, mm -hmm. like more a computer. And I'm trying to, I'm kind of mixing now acoustic and instrumental. So I'm trying, I'm really working on some more original. Got it. And Rose, before we go, how would you describe your sound? Is there a specific genre you fit into? Or is it more of kind of you grasp and mix melodies together? I, I say it's like an en ensemblage of um, R&B, uh, rock, Mm -hmm. A little bit of alternative. Uh, it's 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 really hard to pinpoint. I do a lot of Spanish as well, so there's just a lot of different pieces in there. You know, kind of lullaby. It's like a fusion, a very modern. A fusion. Very few. Yes, very much a fusion. I like that. And so, for people that want to hear your music, want to reach out, where can they find you? Yes. So you can go to uh, at Rosemary Music, uh, M U Z I K, at, uh, like on TikTok, Instagram. All social media, pretty much across the top, it's Rosemary Music, um, M-U-Z-I-K. All right. Well, Rose, thank you so much. Thank and for you. those at home watching, don't go anywhere because she performs live here in studio up next. I knew right where I was, 
So God, if all I'm doing is acting 